Welcome to the Clinical Calculations video. Here you will find instruction and examples for calculating drug dosages for your medication administration. The first thing you need to know about calculating drug dosages is how to convert from one unit of measure to another. First we will look at converting measurements within the metric system. Familiarize yourself with this chart. Note that in the metric system, conversions generally happen in units of 1,000. 1,000 milliliters equals a liter. 1,000 grams equals a kilogram. Pause the video and continue when ready. For our first example, we will be converting 300 cubic centimeters into liters. In order to do this, we need to set up an equation. First we add to our equation what we already have, which is 300 cubic centimeters, or 300 milliliters. Since 1 liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters, we are essentially multiplying our original value by 1. This way we can change our unit from milliliter to liter without changing the value. It is important to have milliliters as the denominator of this fraction, so we can cancel out the numerator of our previous fraction. We can then multiply across and end up with 300 liters over 1,000. When you divide, you end up with 0 0.3 liters. This is equal to our original 300 cubic centimeters. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 0 0.75 grams is equal to 750 milligrams. Next, we will look at household conversions. Again, familiarize yourself with this chart. Note here that there is an ounce measurement for liquid as well as weight. Do not confuse these two. One ounce of liquid does not always weigh one ounce. Pause the video and continue when ready. For our first example here, we will be converting seven tablespoons into ounces. We start with our 7 tablespoons. We can convert directly into ounces because 1 ounce equals 2 tablespoons. Cancel tablespoons and multiply across. We are left with 7 ounces over 2. Divide and we are left with 3.5 ounces, which is equal to our original 7 tablespoons. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 2.5 pounds is equal to 40 ounces. Now we will cover conversions between the household and metric systems. This chart shows how to convert from one system to another. Pause the video, familiarize yourself with these conversions, and continue when you are ready. A baby weighs 14 pounds, 8 ounces. How many kilograms does the baby weigh? If you remember from household conversions, 8 ounces is equal to half a pound, so we start with 14.5 pounds. We can convert into kilograms because 1 kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Cancel like terms and multiply across. We're left with 14.5 kilograms over 2.2. Divide and get 6.6 .6 kilograms, which is equal to 14 pounds, 8 ounces. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 95.5 kilograms is equal to 210.1 pounds. There is an order for 25 milligrams of Benadryl. The label states that there is 12.5 milligrams of Benadryl for every 5 milliliters we are supposed to convert our dosage into household measurements. We start our equation with our 25 milligrams of Benadryl and our 12.5 milligrams for 5 milliliters. We convert into household measurements with 1 teaspoon equaling 5 milliliters. We cancel like terms and multiply across. We're left with 125 teaspoons over 62.5. Divide and we are left with 2 teaspoons, which is our correct dosage. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 
300 milligrams at 100 milligrams per 5 milliliters comes out to being 3 teaspoons or 1 tablespoon. Now that we have covered basic conversions, we will move on to calculating specific types of medication dosages, starting with PO or by mouth medications. There is an order for 40 milligrams Lasix by mouth. The label states that there are 20 milligrams per one tablet. How many tablets should be given? We start with our 40 milligrams of desired dosage. Multiply by one tab which is 20 milligrams. Cancel like terms and multiply across. We are left with 40 tablets over 20. Divide and we are left with our dose being two tablets. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 0 0.15 grams of Vantin by mouth at 100 milligrams per five milliliters comes out to being 7.5 milliliters per dose. It should be noted that this problem did require a conversion between grams and milligrams. Next we will look at IM or intramuscular medications. There is an order for 4 milligrams of Zofran IM. The label states that Zofran comes as 2 milligrams per 1 milliliter. How many milliliters should be given? We start our equation with our 4 milligrams desired dose. Multiply by our 2 milligrams per 1 milliliter. Cancel like terms and multiply across. We get 4 milliliters over 2. Divide and we are left with our dose of 2 milliliters. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 0 0.5 milligrams of Robinol IM at 0 0.2 milligrams per milliliter comes out to being 2.5 milliliters per dose. Next we will look at calculating dosages based on body weight. The physician has ordered prednisone 2 milligrams per kilogram per day by mouth in three divided doses for a child weighing 66 pounds. The label states that prednisone comes in 20 milligram tablets. How many tablets should be given per dose? We start our equation with the desired 2 milligrams per kilograms per day. Knowing that the child's weight is in pounds, we then convert from kilograms to pounds. The child weighs 66 pounds. Prednisone comes as 20 milligrams per one tablet. It is also important that we split into three doses throughout the day. We cancel like terms and multiply across. We are left with 132 tablets over 132 doses. We divide and get one tablet per dose. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. The correct dosage is 7.5 milliliters of solution.